At Victorium, Initiate. Hello, Initiate. Congratulations on officially joining our ranks. I apologize that we aren't able to do an official ceremony right now, but as previously stated, something more important has come up. I've been informed that there is an independent settlement that needs our help. A group of Blood Eagle Raiders are extorting the villagers and taking their supplies. The village's leader, Jenny Brown, has more information. You can find her at their settlement, a camp made up of tree houses that they call the Retreat. We should spend less time putting more defiance and more time here. I trust that you will represent the Brotherhood admirably on your first mission, Initiate. We're all links in the chain, bound in Brotherhood. pouring down rain. Hope you're not afraid of heights. Rad code couldn't 
jump all the way up here, <laughs> right? Hello there, stranger. What can I do for you? Well, aren't you just the cutest Brotherhood member I've ever seen? My name is Jenny Brown, and I'm the mama hen of this little family here at the retreat. Lately, my kin have been harassed by a woman named Dagger and her blood evil raiders. She's causing all my people to go hungry and threatening our lives. You should take some time to talk with some of my people. I'm sure they have some useful information about Dagger that they can share with you, you know. Nice right. Let me know if you need anything else, darling. Gotta wait a whole nother hour for that food to repeat. I should make something sweet to cheer up. We've got flour, sugar. Wait, that's what makes me explode. Forgive any attitudes from us. We got people going hungry here. Ah, I don't like the fog. Even just a mist makes it harder to see. I run the storehouse here, and I have to deal with their lieutenants that come to collect every week. They have some sort of fancy rocket launcher that'll blow this place to smithereens. If given the opportunity. Her and those Blood Eagle Raiders are definitely too tough for us to handle on our own. Something's gotta be done about her, and I hope you're the one to do it. Are you kidding me? It's gotta be the coolest digs you can get in the apocalypse. And I'm proud to call this place my home, and these people my family. I was surrounded by a group of vicious mole rats when some members of Miss Jenny's family found me. They saved me. Figured I could use some more protection from all the nastiness in this world. Now we just need to deal with the dagger. You go get that dagger. Ooh, and bring me back my Instamash. Please. You should leave. Is it true oh, that strange minds can perfect perfect Hey there. Sorry, we're a bit wary of strangers right now. I know that she's got numbers, and she's smart. She's got people tracking our trade routes. They've been harassing our caravans. It's making the settlers not want to trade with us, for fear of losing their own people. I don't blame them either. Dagger's people are making it harder and harder for us to have the supplies when she comes to collect. Honestly, I think she just wants an excuse to kill us off. Miss Jenny heard of all the people in Appalachia. Thought it'd be a good spot for some consistent trading opportunities. Came across all these abandoned tree houses, and it seemed like the perfect place to set up our little haven. It allows us to keep our independence while still making it easy to trade with the settlers. I believe in you. Give that dagger what she deserves. Don't get any fun out of Looks like it might rain later. Don't cause any trouble around here. I will be able to find you. I went out hunting shortly after one of her weekly collections and tracked her lieutenants to see where her hideout is. I lost their trail and wasn't able to get the exact location. But I do know they're somewhere to the southwest. If you find her, kill her. Her and her damn blood eagles are taking our food, water, stim packs, everything. All in exchange for allowing us to keep our lives. Being high up in these trees makes me feel safe. Plus, everyone looks out for each other here. And we do what we can to make the best of it. If you could just help get rid of Dagger, I can go back to living in peace. My partner and I were holed up in a building when we heard some people come inside and start looking through the place. We were worried we would have to fight, but <laughs> instead, Miss Jenny welcomed us into her group with open arms and offered us a place in the family. 
Please, help us give that dagger what she deserves. Last night, I dreamed I fell out of bed and straight to the forest floor. Oh. Real last nice view. Shame about this. I hope you enjoyed getting to know us. We're peaceful people. We don't want to bother or be bothered. Rad -toad couldn't jump so, all the way up here. will you help us? Right. Huh. Other than she's insane and a manis, she has this loyal group of lieutenants that are willing to protect her with their lives. I'm telling you, if they didn't follow her everywhere she went, I'd have already tried to put her six feet under. I'm glad you're able to see how special my people are. Family is the most important thing that you can have, especially in the wasteland. I will do anything that I can to protect mine. Thank you. I knew you'd be as sweet on the inside as you are on the outside. Please be careful. Dagger and her lieutenants are dangerous folk. Never thought I'd live in a treehouse. Thought I'd find a real man. Getting so sick and tired of those thorn bushes. This place ain't quite a door.
should. Nothing in this wasteland can bring down Dagger's crew. Well, well, well. I see the Brotherhood has finally sent one of their pawns to retrieve my weapons. <laughs> because you've impressed me by taking out my crew, I'll allow you to say a few last words. Stupid Choose villagers. them carefully, kid. Kill or be killed. Exploit or be exploited. Oh, shit. You mean you didn't know about the weapons? The crate they came in may have had a Brotherhood of Steel insignia on them. <laughs> but they're ours now. Don't even think about walking into my place and making demands, either. I won't let you take these weapons from us. Imagine living in a kid's treehouse. Like I said, these weapons don't belong to the Brotherhood anymore. I don't have any of their property. And you can tell those villagers they'll be punished for crying to the Brotherhood of Steel. Nothing in this wasteland can bring down. I already have a mutually beneficial arrangement with the retreat. I get their supplies, and they get to Kill. spend one more Kill. day breathing. What do you exploited. have to offer me for these weapons and supplies? Imagine living I, in a kid's uh, What? No. No thanks, I don't want you spying on me for the Brotherhood. If you happen to leave the Brotherhood of Steel, though, Villagers. I sleep perfectly fine already, knowing I can defeat weaklings like you. You're Killer be boring me. Exploit or be Time to have some fun.
those raiders come snooping around? Whoa, did you jump up here? Huh. I wonder what everyone's doing. Have you had a chance to pay Dagger a friendly visit? <gasps> Thank you so much, Sweet Pea. Because of you, my people will no longer go hungry. The Brotherhood has our support and our thanks. Is it true that Strangler Vines can grow at night and wrap around you while you're sleeping? I should ask Miss Jenny. Looks like it might rain later. from our patrol. They must have seen something quite interesting for you to come to me about it. Interesting is not the word. Concerning, yes. W one moment, Initiate. Night Shin is in the middle of his report. We have to cut ourselves free from America to rebuild America. Take the old and... Go on, Shin. As I was saying, one of our patrols came across a raider storeroom. They were chased down, but not before sighting several crates with the Brotherhood insignia on them. Those crates are for important assets. We haven't used them since... Since that battle. Some Let's not waste toes. time with details. Waste Considering the contents, muscles. it's imperative that we recover those crates from the raiders. We have yet to establish a relationship with the people of Crater. It's possible that they are more agreeable than the other raiders we've encountered. Are you seriously considering the idea of leaving those items in raider hands? Let's discuss this later. We've kept the Initiate waiting long enough. Were you able to help the people of the retreat? Very unfortunate that things had to end that way, but at least the villagers are safe now. Them, and likely many others. The world is better off with fewer blood eagles. Don't speak so frivolously of human life, Knight. Oh, is there anything else to report? The Blood Eagles, too. Did these crates have our insignia on them? If our weapons have spread among multiple groups, that's a serious problem. The Initiate made the right choice in bringing them back to us. I hope the villagers have other means of defending themselves. If we address the threat at its origin, there would be no need for them to defend themselves, which is exactly why we can't leave those weapons in Raider hands. We obtained them during our journey to Appalachia. Unexpected circumstances removed them from our possession. That's all the Initiate needs to know. I am the one answering questions here, Knight. The Brotherhood saved Shin's hometown from a raider attack. It was then that Knight Connors recruited him into the fold. 
There have been other incidents since then, but... This is irrelevant to the mission. Perhaps you can ask him about it another time. I'd prefer that you didn't. Good work, Initiate. You're dismissed. Raiders causing trouble again. We'll have to do something about that.